Hi guys, welcome to our next video. No, bad light. Hi guys, welcome to our next video. Today we are at this beautiful park in Denver having some brunch and we're gonna start crocheting a new project. We're gonna work on a cardigan even though it's 90 degrees outside. I saw this photo of an elephant and so I thought that would be a perfect piece for the back of a cardigan but what if I make a vest? I haven't decided yet. So we're gonna start working on that. We're gonna work 73 chains on the back piece and then we're gonna work up the the elephant and so today I'm gonna use the brown color because that's the most color that I had at my house and this for the elephant to kind of make it pop and kind of funky so let's start working and then see how it goes okay it's been about an hour and my butt is numb and my bones hurt but I just want to do a quick update. So this is how far I've gotten of the elephant. Uh, you can see the four feet that I've already started. I'm also using my iPad to mark the row, so I kind of show you how far I've gotten. So I'm going to continue working at home because I'm very sore on the ground. And so let's keep going and take it back home and then continue working on the back piece of the elephant. So I started to bench watch this show called Manifest on Netflix. It's a TV drama about this plane that has disappeared for five years, but the passengers didn't age. They thought it's only been a few hours since they plane since the plane left Jamaica. But on Earth it's been five years, and let's just say a lot has changed. A lot goes on in a year. Imagine five years being missing. So everyone thought the people were dead until they landed one day. Um, I won't spoil any more, but let's just say there's some powers in the TV show, like unnatural powers, I would say. But it was pretty good. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I love making new content every week. So I'm just doing a little quick update. So it is, what time is it? <laughs> Yep, that's exactly what time it is. It's 4.56 and do you guys see the elephant? It looks awesome. The yarn is super trippy, but I actually ran out of yarn. This is how much I have left. So I need to figure out what to do with the rest of the elephant. If I want to wait for that yarn or use this other crazy color yarn and start working in that direction. So I'm going to think about it for a few seconds and then figure it out. Okay, so today is day two and I have about like an hour and a half to get the back done because I'm going to Nature and Science Museum with my brother, but this is what it looks like so far. So we ran out of this color, so we used this other multicolor, but you guys can still see the elephant pretty well. So we're almost getting there. We probably have maybe 10 or 20 rows, actually less than that. So let's keep going and then see how it goes. Okay, so I just finished the back piece. So it's two different colors because like I said, I ran out of the color and I just wanted to kind of use what I have um, on my shelf. So here's the back piece. It is, I believe 51 rows and then we'll do ribbing at the bottom. So let's start working on our two front pieces and then attach that together and keep working on our cardigan. Whoop! So we just finished our first front panel and I did a little stripe of eight rows of that color that we did on the back for the elephant. And then whoop, we did our second one. So now let's attach it to the front and then start working on the sleeve. So I just came back from Michael's and running out of errands to get some more brown yarn. And of course, when you go to Michael's, you don't just get the brown yarn, you get the other stuff as well. So now let's attach our pieces and work on the cardigan. So remember we're attaching on the wrong side. So the picture should be facing you and then you have your... I left a long strand of yarn on the front piece so I can attach that. So let's do that. Just one like this. little 
update so I attached the front and the back so looks like this and I did buy brown yarn for sleeves but then I was thinking what if I do green sleeves because the green and brown looks really good together so I might do green sleeve and then leave the brown for the ribbon inside and on the cuffs and then do maybe green pockets on the sides to make it kind of a little bit more more flowy of the colors but here it is let's keep going and start working on the sleeve second sleeve I went to the gym to do some workout and let's just say crocheting on a bike is way easier than on a treadmill also the cardigan at this point was pretty heavy because we already made the front and the back and then we did one sleeve already and it was very heavy so I'm sure that's why it gave me such a hard time It's 11, 18, um, June 20th, which is the longest day of the year. And it's also Father's Day. And I finally finished the sleeves of the cardigan. And this has been the longest thing ever. So the sleeves are, the green part is 43 rows. Funny story, so I finished one sleeve, 43 rows. I get to the second sleeve and I'm 40 rows in. I have three more rows left and then I run out of yarn. So I search everywhere in my house to find this color and I cannot find it. I have so many shades of green, but none of it was this light green. So I go to Michael's and I look for it. Well, they ran out of the color. So I have to drive to another Michael's and find you know pray for this color to be on the shelf and yes i did find one and so i bought just one ball of yarn and yeah i finished the sleeves today and it's 11 o'clock i am super tired i want to go to bed so tomorrow we're gonna work on the ribbing on the outside um on the bottom sorry and the inside we're just gonna do front post and back post double crochet and then tie in the ends and we're done with the cardigan. So it's turning out amazing. I love how I did the green with the brown and I love how I used the part of the elephants from the back in the front to kind of add the stripe. I might even add green pockets. So we'll see how that goes, but let's keep going and hopefully we don't run into more issues and yeah, see how it goes. Yay! So I officially finished the cardigan. I still have to tie in the ends, but it is done. Everything's done. I'm just gonna put it on. So it looks great. It fits awesome. Um, I did the ribbing. I did the three front posts, one back post repeatedly. Um, and then I did five, one, two, three, four rows, maybe five, four rows on the bottom. And then I think four rows on the top. It's super comfortable. I love the look of it. It's very soft and it looks great. Very loose fitting, so it's kind of oversized. Um, you can probably wear a hoodie underneath. Um, yeah, I love it. So I'm gonna just tie in the ends and I'm gonna take final pictures probably outside tomorrow because it is already like, sun is coming down. It's around 6.30, I wanna say. So let's finish the tying in and post the video. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you.